Cornfields of Kansas, a little girl named Dorothy is daydreaming, as usual. Dorothy? Dorothy, honey? Here I am, Aunt Hen. Do you want me? Hmm? Dorothy, I've got chores to do. See if your Uncle Henry needs anything. Uncle Henry! What's wrong, Dorothy? You look so good. Dorothy tired. lives on the farm with her Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. And even though there are lots of chores to be done, she always finds time to play with her little dog, Toto. Aunt Em's wearing her Sunday best. She and Uncle Henry have to go into town for a council meeting. Now, Dorothy, are you sure you'll be all right for the afternoon, dear? Uh-huh, I'll be just fine. Now remember, storm comes up into the cellar. I'll remember, bye now. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. The sky gets cloudy. Oh, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky a minute ago. But now look at it. Oh, well, at least I don't see any twisters out there. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, oh no! Oh, we have to get back to the house. Em, look! Look out there! Oh, no, a twister! And Dorothy's all alone! We've got to head back home. A twister? Or tornado? Hey! The most dreaded storm there is in Kansas. A giant funnel of swirling wind that destroys everything oh, it touches. It's coming this way fast! Uh, uh, the storm cellar! We have to get into the storm cellar, Toto! Come on! Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Henry, it's heading straight for us! Who knows where we're going to end up, huh, boy? Oh. 
The howling wind sweep Dorothy farther and farther away from her Kansas home, until the farmhouse is hurtling through space towards parts unknown. Dorothy steps outside to find a kingdom so different, so magical. At first, she thinks she's dreaming. Toto, where are we? Oh, I've never seen anything so beautiful. Huh? Toto, what's wrong? What have you found? What is it, boy? Let me see. Ugh. Huh? A pair of shoes! <gasps> and, and, and they have feet in them! Oh! Whoever it is, the house must have landed on them! Huh? Hmm? Hey! I know those shoes! Yeah, so do I! Hey, come on out, fellas! What's going on? Look! Under the house! Whoa! Oh. Uh, I didn't mean to. I. Huh? Who is it? Don't you know? Take a good look. Hey, something's going on. Oh, yeah? <gasps> Who's oh. she? I don't know. Is that her house? Guess so. Guess she didn't want to leave home without oh, it. Who are these people and who's under the house? What's happening? Oh, oh. No, no, no. They're glowing. Sloppy Lammy. Well, name, please? My name's Dorothy. Who are you? <laughs> well, let's just say I'm a friend and benefactor. At your service, Dorothy. Well, then, could you please tell me what's going on? Huh? Why, I'd be glad to, my dear. When your house landed, it landed smack on the Witch of the East, leaving nothing but her magic shoes there. Huh? So the person under the house... Was a witch, dear, and as wicked as they come, you've done us all a great service. Pap, oh, I'm all mixed up. I want to go home to Kansas. Uh -huh. Hey, did she say Kansas? That's what it sounded like to me. What does Kansas mean? Don't ask me. I don't know. Strange. If this isn't Kansas, where in America is it? My dear... You're not in America. You're in the Land of Oz. Goodness, didn't you know? The Land of Oz? I've never heard of it. Huh? Never heard of it? I think you and I should have a little chat. That sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Come along. Come on, come on. Don't dawdle. Toto, here, boy. <laughs> Behold, my dear, the Land of Oz, as far as the eye can see. <gasps> But where did Kansas go? That I couldn't tell you. The land of Oz is the only land I know. Now, Oz is divided into four countries. The east, the west, the south, and the north. One for each direction. Now, if the south is over there, that makes the north, uh, that way. The west must be there. 
So we're in the land of the east, and the Emerald City sits right in the middle. Well, that's where you'll find the wonderful Wizard of Oz. He sounds very important. Well, if anyone can help you, it'll be the wonderful wizard. So off you go. But how do I get there? By wearing them. Oh, her shoes. I'm afraid her shoes are all that's left of her. Her most prized possessions. They have special powers. Special powers, are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. Heaven's child, I ought to be. After all, I'm a witch myself. You're a what? Did I hear you correctly? Did you say you are a witch? Yes, but don't be afraid. I'm not a wicked witch. Far from it. You see, the Witch of the North, that's me, and Glinda, the Witch of the South, are good witches. Good, good, good. Oh, well, all right, but I don't think they'll fit. Oh, I can fix that. Magic shoes, you must take heed to your new mistress. <gasps> Quickly speed. feel so good. A perfect fit. You said they had special powers. What did you mean? Just what I said. They're magic. Magic? Yes, as long as you have those on. They'll shield you from danger. After all, we don't want anything to happen to you before you see the wizard, do we? Oh, and I have something else for you, too. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. My protective kiss. Good Witch said it's a long way to the Emerald City. She told us to follow the Yellow Brick Road, but she warned us it wouldn't always be safe. Good thing I have the magic shoes and her kiss to protect me. Who knows what lies ahead? Well, come on, Toto. The Yellow Brick Road is all that lies between Dorothy and the Wizard. Come on, Toto. But it's full of surprises. You're tired, Toto. I think it's time for a nap. Lie down, go on. But I'm not tired at all, thanks to these shoes. It feels like I'm walking on air when I have them on. Oh, that looks like a flower of some kind. Hands off the corn! <gasps> oh, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean any harm. Wait a minute. Who said that? There's no one here. Huh. Hands off the corn. I must have imagined it. Why, I'm not even sure if this is corn or not. It's corn, all right, and don't <gasps> touch it because, because, oh. well, oh. just because. A talking scarecrow? How clever. Oh, I can talk, all right, but I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm clever. Oh, come now. You look clever enough. Oh. Well, looks aren't everything, I guess. If I really were clever, I wouldn't be making such a mess of my job. Your job? Well, your job is to scare off crows, isn't it? What's been going wrong? Everything. All because I don't have a brain. I can't outsmart them, so they do what they like. They ignore me completely. Oh, well, if you go down, you could chase them away. That occurred to me, but the trouble is, I haven't the slightest idea of how to go about it. Oh, it can't be that hard. I'll help you. Don't worry if you can't think of how to do it either. It is a tough problem. But it's no problem at all. Just let go of the crossbar. Mm -hmm. Uh, let go? Yes, just lift your arms over it. Like this? Yes, uh... good. Now do the other one. Of course. Oh, but don't let go completely. Oh! Oh, not too bright, huh? No, it was my fault. I should have told you sooner. Are you all right? Oh, sure. That's one good thing about not having a brain. Doesn't hurt when you fall on your head. Oh. Poor you, let me help you up. Uh, you do know how to walk, uh, don't you? I don't know. I've never done it before. It's awfully kind of you to help me this way. Oh, I'm happy to. By the way, my name's Dorothy. What's your name? I'm a scarecrow, so, uh, uh, I guess it's Scarecrow. <laughs> I may have a head filled with straw, Dorothy, but I do know that much at least. Well, Scarecrow, this is Toto. Hello there, Toto. He doesn't know what to think. <laughs> He's a bit like you, isn't he? Oh, no. At least he can think, Dorothy. I can't. That's the trouble. So we're going to see the wizard. Well, that's quite a story, Dorothy. It seems he's the only one powerful enough to help us. Anyhow, we better be on our way. Good luck with those crows, Scarecrow. Take care of yourself. Hmm. The Wizard of Oz. I wonder. Oh, wasn't 
Scarecrow nice, Toto? Hmm, if the wizard can help Dorothy, maybe he can help me too. Yoo-hoo, Dorothy! Toto, wait, Scarecrow's calling me. Dorothy, can I go with you? I, I want to ask the wizard for a brain. What is it? Oh, look, a pond. Finally. Aren't you thirsty? We've been walking all afternoon. I'm never thirsty. Good thing, too. I'm made of cloth and straw. If I drank water, I'd get all soggy and fall over. I suppose since I can't drink water, I never want to, if that makes any sense. Do you ever get hungry? You should eat, at least. We have a long journey ahead. You'll need your strength. Oh, I feel strong, as strong as a strong man ever feels. What I want to feel now is smart, Dorothy. You see, the farmer who made me filled me with straw so he wouldn't have to feed me. But when you're filled with straw, even a thieving old crow is smarter than you are. He's not a man, he's made of straw! 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 straw. That did it. Not only weren't they scared of me anymore, they used me as a lookout tower to watch for the farmer. It was humiliating. I strongly recommend another line of work, pal, and I'm gonna tell you why. Where we have brains, you've got straw, pal, so we're too smart for you. <laughs> Since then, all I've ever wished for was to have a brain. It's getting dark. Yes, it's hard to see where we're going. Ooh. Hear that? Hear what? <gasps> there it is again. That was a groan, all right. Oh, oh dear. Well, Dorothy, there's no doubt about it. Those are groans, all right, uh-huh. <laughs> Question is, what do we do? Take a look. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, oh. Scarecrow, I'm scared. Me too. Let's hurry and get it over with. Right. Scarecrow, look straight ahead of you. Think we should go closer? Uh-huh. Close enough? <gasps> oh, my. What is it? Well, if I could think, which I can't, I think I'd think it was some sort of statue made out of tin from the look of it. A statue here in the middle of the forest? Yes, though I can't think why. Hmm. Well, this is certainly where all those groans are coming from. There he goes again. Oh. I don't get it, Dorothy. If it's a statue, how can it groan? Don't you have to be alive to groan? I think so. Is it breathing at all? I don't know. Sort of hard to tell when it's made of tin. <laughs> Hey, I think he's trying to speak. Huh? It's saying something like, Hoy, who? Hey, wait, do you mean oil? He must want oh. you to oil him, Scarecrow. That's what that cat is for. There now, is that better? More oil? He wants more oil, Scarecrow. Here, I'll do it. Is that enough, or would you like some more? I beg your pardon? You know, I don't think he's a statue at all. I said enough. Oh, you're very welcome. Jaw loosening feels good. I, I can talk again. If I had a brain, I bet I'd think you were standing that way because the rest of your body has rusted solid. Huh? Well, you'd be perfectly right. I would? That's wonderful. I should pretend I have a brain more often. Now then, Dorothy, uh -huh. if you oiled all his other joints from head to toe, I bet before very long, he'd be able to move again. Scarecrow, you are right. He's moving. Looks like I'm back in working order. It's a good thing we came along. He could have been stuck there forever. Yes. Well, thanks again, you two. You saved my life. Now I can go back to chopping down trees.
Here, we better not say goodbye without giving you this. Mm, by the way, who are you? Well, I'm Dorothy, and this is Scarecrow. We're on our way to the Emerald City. You're going to the Emerald City? Uh-huh. We're going to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Hmm. The wonderful Wizard of Oz? But why? When Dorothy explained that she wanted the wizard to send her back home and that Scarecrow wanted a brain, Tin Man asked if he could join them. They're both happy to have such an energetic companion. What do you want from the wizard, Tin Man? A heart, Dorothy. Tin Man tells them his story. You see, I used to be an ordinary Munchkin, a woodcutter, until one day I was with my sweetheart, Munchka. My work was finished and, well, we were very much in love and I guess it showed. The Wicked Witch of the East happened by and the sight of our perfect love infuriated her. Yeah. She cast a spell <laughs> on me. Turned me to tin. From that moment on, I no longer had the ability to have feelings, especially of love. So that's why I want to go with you to see the wonderful wizard. To ask him for a heart, I want so much to feel things again. You'll get your heart, Tin Man, and I'll get my... Huh? What was that noise? It sounded like thunder or something. <gasps> oh, my! It's a lion! A ferocious lion, Tin Man! <laughs> Am I seeing things, or did I just see a lion chasing a butterfly? Don't ask me. I was too frightened to look. Oh, well, you can open your eyes, Dorothy. He's gone, but it's very peculiar. Oh, but why would a lion pick on a butterfly? Maybe he's hungry? Huh? No, not likely, is it? Goodness, I didn't think lions did things like that. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, nice day, isn't it? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Toto, run, Toto! Toto! Dorothy! Be ashamed of yourself. A full-grown lion, the king of beasts, attacking a poor little dog. Aw, I was only playing with him. Playing with him? You scared him half to death. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right, Toto. I think you're nothing but a coward, not brave like a lion should be. Ah, uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. I am a coward. I'm so ashamed. You've discovered my terrible secret. But that's impossible. How could a lion be a coward? I don't know myself. It's just that I've always been afraid. Always. Aww. <laughs> He's still following us. Yes, I don't think he'll hurt us at all, but I wonder what he wants, Scarecrow. Mm. As they walked, Lion overheard them talking about the wizard and worked up all his nerve. Hello. <gasps> Could I come with you? Well, what do you think, everyone? Should we let him come with us? Sure, but why do you want to come, Lion? Well, I thought maybe I could go see the wizard, too. The wizard? What do you want from the wizard, Lion? Is there something you need from him, too? Do you think the wizard might be able to give me courage? <laughs> if you want to find out, come with us and ask him yourself, Lion. Yes, on to the Emerald City, Lion. And the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Come on, just follow us, Lion. Let's go. <sighs> that night, in the forest... Lion, mm -hmm. are you sure you need courage? After all, you are the King of Beasts. King of beasts or not, I need courage. Strange, isn't it? I've always thought lions weren't scared of anything. After all, they're the fiercest animals there are. You know, if I could think, I think I'd think you're being a coward is all in your head. Uh -huh. Well, 
You weren't too scared to ask if you could come with us to see the wizard, and to go to see the wizard, you're willing to face the dangers of the yellow brick road. The yellow brick road is dangerous? Now you tell me when I'm too far from home to turn back. I'd be way too frightened to walk all the way back alone. Oh, you really do need courage, don't you, Lion? You bet I do, Dorothy. Buckets of it. I've never felt brave for even one second in my whole cowardly life. I'm sure, when I lived in the forest, the other animals were afraid of me. But only because I had a loud and fierce roar. If a tiger had picked a fight, I'm sure I'd have put my tail between my legs and ran away. After a good rest, Dorothy and her friends set off again. But the forest is getting dimmer and grimmer with every step. The deeper we go into the forest, the darker and gloomier it gets. Huh? <laughs> Lion? What is it? What's wrong? I just remember that this might be the part of the forest where the Kaleidas live. Oh. The Kaleidas? What are Kaleidas? Oh, Kaleidas are enormous beasts with the bodies of bears and the heads of tigers. The bodies of bears and the heads of tigers? Uh -huh. What a thoroughly unpleasant combination. <laughs> Was that a collider? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Good idea, Lion. Right. Oh, no, there's no way across. What do we do now? Well, I don't think turning back would be a very good idea. Oh. A collider, and it's getting close. We have to think of something. A plan, quick! Uh, think! <sighs> Tin Man? Yes? If you chopped down this tree so it fell across the gorge, would it reach the other side? Yes, I think it would, Scarecrow. That's an excellent idea. Oh, it's such a big tree. Oh, hurry, Tin Man, hurry. It's coming straight for us. We've got to distract him somehow till Tin Man is finished. Come on, Lion. Oh, no, not me. I'm too frightened. There's no time to be frightened, Lion. Come on. It looks like I don't have any choice. Hey, over here, you big barrel of rubber. Can't catch me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come in. We have no time to lose. Right. Whoa. Uh, oh, no. Let's go. Don't look down, Toto. Gag way. The Goliaths are coming. Where are Lion and Scarecrow? Oh, I hope they're all right. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Hurry, Scarecrow! Oh, don't trip. Just take it easy. Whoa. Hold on, Scarecrow, hold on. Don't panic. You can do it. Just stay calm. That's all. Stay calm. Whoa. Hurry, Scarecrow! I am. I am. Here, give me your hand. Ten men. I think you better do something about this. Oh, me too. <gasps> They're both coming after us, and Tin Man just started. 
Run, Tin Man! It's too late! Forget it! No, I could still hold their weight! Huh? Let's run, go. Tin Man, run! It's no oh. use! Come on! Tin Man! Get out of here! It's going to hold. We've had it. Don't be so sure. <laughs> we did it! Oh, I thought we had it, Dorothy. Well I really done. did. But we all worked together and we made it. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't chopped down that tree, Tin Man. Oh, I was just doing what Scarecrow told me to do, Dorothy. For someone without a brain, you're pretty smart, Scarecrow. Well, they've left the forest and the Kaleidos far behind. But their troubles aren't over yet. Oh, how will we ever get across? Should be simple enough. Hmm? Tin Man can just chop down some trees and we'll make a raft out of them. Why, of course. What? Listen, I don't know. If I ever fell off the raft into the river, I'd rust horribly. Now, if we all sit very still, we shouldn't have any trouble. Cheer up, Tin Man. You're not gonna fall in. So far, so good. The river's calm and the yellow brick road's dead ahead. Almost there, folks. The current's strong here. I can't hold her. Whoa! Look out, folks. We're in for a rough ride. I can't pull us to shore. Huh? The bottom! I can't touch bottom anymore! We're drifting! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Scarecrow! Oh no! 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 Scary. Was it ever? Oh, if I could only touch bottom, I'd be back in control, but I, I can't. We're drifting farther and farther from the yellow brick road. This river seems to go on for miles and miles. We'll never get off at this rate. Oh, look, everyone. Oh, I've touched bottom. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? It's stuck. The pole is stuck. Uh -huh. I can't pull it out. Let go of the pole. If I touch that water, I'll rust solid in two seconds flat. I know. Hmm? We'll swim for it. Oh. Dorothy, weren't you listening? If I get anywhere near that water, I'll be scrap metal. When you said we, you meant me, didn't you? Huh? Lion, there's no other way. No, I suppose not. You can swim, can't you? Well, I've never actually tried it, but we can't abandon poor Scarecrow. No, we can't. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Right. That's a spirit lion. Jump in and I'll grab onto your tail, all right? Yes, okay. I, I'm all set now. I, I've got to jump in any second. Oh, I'm jumping in. Oh, quick, Tin Man. Right. I got you, lion. Good. Swim, lion, swim. Hang on. Oh, oh. good, lion. Keep going, lion. You're getting there. <laughs> Don't try to talk, just swim. Keep going, you're almost there. You swim beautifully, Lion. As long as I stay dry, I'll be all right. Oh, a little more, a little more. You're almost there.
wonderful lion, strong and brave as could be. Dorothy, I was scared out of my wits. I wasn't brave at all. You were so, lion. Well done, lion. You were fantastic. But we've got to get back to Scarecrow. Can you make it? Mm, let's go. As quickly as they can, Dorothy and the others make their way back along the shore. Help! help. Someone help! To where Scarecrow <laughs> is hanging on for dear life. dream of it, but I'm slipping. Oh, no. And the pole's falling over, too. Lion, are you strong enough to swim to him? Yes, but he's bound to get soaked, Dorothy. And he's made of straw. There'd be nothing left but a soggy lump. Wait a second. What if we ask that stork on the other side to help us out? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Stork, can you hear me? Are you talking to me? Yes. Could you please save our friend? Uh, uh, First of all, I'm not a stork, I'm a crane. Second of all, I'm not a mister, I'm a missus. And finally, your friend looks too heavy for me. Uh, Couldn't you at least try? He's made of straw. He hardly weighs anything at all. Oh, please try. Straw or not, I'd still be taking a risk. I'm not as strong as I look, you know. I'm very delicate. If he's too heavy, I'd have to drop him in the river. Will you just do it? Don't you snap at me. Oh, Tin Man didn't mean to, and Scarecrow's not too heavy, Mrs. Crane, honest. <gasps> okay, down there, ready or not, here I go! All set, Scarecrow? I, I, I hope so. <laughs> oh! Ah! Hooray! Got him! <laughs> you wouldn't drop me, would you? Drop you? When I do something, I do it right! Over here! Oh. oh, Scarecrow, we missed you. Oh, Dorothy, I missed you, too. Oh, you must have been terrified. Terrified? Dorothy, I would have been scared witless if I had any wits, that is. Oh, thank goodness Mrs. Crane was here. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for saving him. Oh, I quite enjoyed it. I've never actually saved anyone before. <laughs> I can't smell a thing, but of course my nose is made of tin. And mine's just decoration. They don't smell that strong, Dorothy. Toto, leave them alone. Leave them alone? Let's just leave. Yes. Come on, Toto. They go on, but these are no ordinary flowers. Dorothy, Toto, and Lion get drowsier and drowsier with every step. Did you hurt yourself? No, I just feel so sleepy and tired all of a sudden. But it's still the daytime. I'm sleepy too. Think, oh, oh I have a nap. I don't understand. It's the flowers. Flower? It's the flowers. Oh, I see. Something in the flowers is doing it. But how? Must be the scent, I guess. Our noses aren't real, so we can't smell the flowers like they did. But if we could, then we'd be sleepy, too. See? Now Toto's sleepy. Oh, I've never heard of flowers that could make you sleepy. Me neither, but it must be them. The longer I stay here, the sleepier I get. I'm, I'm falling asleep right where I am. These flowers are dangerous. We'll have to get them out of here somehow, Tin Man. Who knows? These flowers may be under a witch's spell. Come on, give me a hand with Lion. Oh, save Dorothy. Run for it. You're stronger than me, Tin Man. You better carry Dorothy. Right. 
But you'll have to carry my axe, Scarecrow. Uh, sure. No! Well, looks like Lion made it to the edge of the field. Good, but I bet he and Dorothy won't go any further today. Hmm. She'll be all right. Mm, but no more shortcuts. Tomorrow we take the long way back to the yellow brick road. Mm -hmm. I'll gladly wait a little longer to get my heart. I just want all of us to arrive safely. Right, Tin Man. Next morning, they find their way back to the yellow brick road. And by early afternoon... There it is! The Emerald City! Oh, we made it! <laughs> oh, we did it! For a while there, I wasn't sure we'd make it at all. Me neither. I've never been so happy to get someplace in my life. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's just magnificent. It's thrilling. It's... it's... Frightening, that's what it is. The Emerald City, here we come. Oh. At last, the Emerald City. Now it's off to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. They have to get past the official guardian first. You're sure you're not a group of traveling sorcerers? What? No, of course not. All right, just asking. After all, a little girl, a tin man, a scarecrow, and a dog, well, we get some strange visitors. But your group really takes the cake. Are you tourists? No, we're here on urgent business with the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Business with the wizard? What kind of business? Business that's our business, but we must see him. Hmm, must see him, huh? Huh? You must be sorcerers! But we're not. Why do you say that? <laughs> Please tell us. I say that because only sorcerers or witches get to see the wizard. Ordinary people can't see him. But why not? The wizard is at home, isn't he? Well, yes, he's at home. He's always at home. Well, then, why can't we see him? Because no one has ever seen him. Even I have never seen him, not that I want to. That means I'll never get home. I'm sorry. Let them in, Guardian. The Witch of the North commands you. I shall do as you command, O Witch. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Follow me, honored guests. Watch your head. <laughs> Watch your head. Huh? And he called us strange. Wizardness, please, may I have a brain? And he'll say, why, of course, Scarecrow, there you are. <laughs> and I'll thank him very thoughtfully. <laughs> my thanks will be heartfelt. And I'll promise to use my new heart wisely. Oh, Wizard, if I had courage, I'd be a true lion. Oh, Mr. Wizard, help me get home, and I promise to always be good. Searching for a dream. Oh. oh, my goodness. What a palace. I don't think many people get to see it, though. No, but I know why they let us in, Dorothy. Me, too. The witch's kiss. Did you feel your forehead glow, Dorothy? <gasps> oh, that's what it was. Yes, of course. Now I remember. The witch of the North said her kiss would help us. The Great Oz is ready to see you. Hooray! He's going to see us, really? Yes. Oh! <laughs> He's oh, going to see you at last, Dorothy! Silence! Yes, Oz will see you, but only one at a time. What? But we all came together. The Great Oz will see Dorothy first. Follow.
Mr. Wizard? H Hello? Hello, are you there? Hello? Who dares visit the Great Oz? Uh, me, Dorothy. That is far enough. by the Witch of the North and are wearing the shoes of the Witch of the East. How, how do you know all that? I am the wonderful Wizard of Oz. I know all. The magic sheep. He can't hurt me. A wonderful Wizard of Oz. Do you really know everything? Yes, Dorothy. Oh. Then you must already know that I want to go back home to Kansas. K Kansas? Kansas in America? Oh, if you've heard of America, you are a great wizard. Can you send me home again? Yes, but first I want you to do one little thing. Huh? The Wicked Witch of the East is gone, thanks to you. But there's still one more wicked witch in my wonderful land, Dorothy. Yes, I've heard of her. The Wicked Witch of the West. Destroy her. Destroy her? But, but I'm only a little girl, a wonderful Silence! witch. Silence! Go now. Please, oh please, Great Wizard. Couldn't you just send me back home? Dorothy, tell us what happened. Can you go home to Kansas? Yes, once I've destroyed the Wicked Witch of the West. What, what did, did you say? say? But you can't do that. Well, we've come all this way for nothing. Well, I did. Dorothy. The others oh. try to console Dorothy. <laughs> then Scarecrow is summoned. <sighs> Ready or not, Wizard, here I come. Impudent energy of vegetable matter. Remove your hat in my presence. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Approach. Uh, approach. Sure. <laughs> Love oh. to. Huh? You have come to ask me for a brain. But before I grant your request, you must first perform for me one trifling service. Oh, a trifling service? I'd be happy to, Great Wizard. Uh, which trifling service did you have in mind? You are to destroy the Wicked Witch of the West. Now leave me and send in the man made of metal. Yes, I can't have my brain until I get rid of the Wicked Witch. But why doesn't Oz do it himself? He's the one with all the power. Oh, what a mess, Dorothy. Yes, now I'll never get home again. You're next, Tin Man. <laughs> hmm? As politely as he can, Tin Man Can asks the wizard to give him a heart, but all. does no and better than the others. His wish will not be granted until he has destroyed the wicked witch of the west. The wonderful wizard of Oz will now see the lion. Follow me. <laughs> If you want courage, you must first destroy the Wicked Witch. The news is the same for Lion. No courage till he's destroyed the Wicked Witch. You too, Lion? Mm-hmm. Cheer up, Lion. We've got a plan. We go to the land of the West and ask the Winkies there to help us find the Witch. Find the Witch? You mean you're actually going to try to destroy her? Oh, my goodness, my knees are shaking already at the very thought of it. What do we know about fighting witches? Not a thing, but we're willing to learn. If we work together and plan carefully, we'll manage, right? If we just work as a team, yes. All for one and one for all. Well, all right, but I'm still scared. 
We'll make it, Lion, <laughs> together. Ah, the house of evil! My beautiful, dark, brooding fortress! <laughs> when it is completed, it shall be my headquarters for conquering Oz! <laughs> Not long after, in the land of the West, the wicked witch senses intruders. Huh? What's this? I got that old feeling. That old feeling that means trouble! <laughs> Magic mirror, ever so tall. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me all. Trouble is near, that I know. Oh, what I want you to show, show, show! That's trouble. Huh? Come on, Mira. What kind of trouble is that? Still no winky, Scarecrow. I don't understand what's going on, do you? Hmm. I have an awful feeling that's the witch's castle. Oh, it's as evil and wicked looking as she must be herself. We could always hide and wait till someone else destroys her. But you wouldn't get your courage then. Besides, there's no place to hide. The wizard's maidservant told me she has a magic mirror that sees everything in the land of the West. Huh? <laughs> what is it, Toto? He saw the smoke coming from that chimney. Oh. Whoever's in there isn't worried about the witch. Then that means whoever's in there must also be very brave. Just the sort of winky we need. Oh. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. There must be someone there, Dorothy. That fire's still burning in the grate. I'll keep trying till they answer, that's all. Hello? Don't be afraid. We're friends. Please open the door. Hello? You're not friends. The Wicked Witch sent you to capture me. That's not true. We've come to destroy the witch. We're hoping you might help. Are you witches too? Oh, no. We've come from the Emerald City. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz sent us here. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz? <laughs> <gasps> that is a lion. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't worry. Lion won't hurt you. He's very gentle. A gentle lion? Sure. Oh, well, if he does eat me, it's still better than being a slave. Come in if you're coming. Oh, thank you, sir. This is very kind of you. We're very grateful. Intruders! They could only be here for one reason, to thwart my plan to conquer Oz! <gasps> To use the golden cap. Oh, I hate to do it. I've only got my third command left, but I have no choice. They're no match for me. But I can't afford to let them get too close to my fortress. Well, we were hoping to find a lot more of you, Winkies. What's happened? Unfortunately, the witch found us first. Every last Winky in the West is one of her slaves now, except me. Why? Were you able to get away before she caught you? I never even ran. She just didn't want me. I used to be the mayor around here, but she thought I was too old even for a slave. Oh, well, count yourself lucky. Well, I guess I was lucky. She was going to turn me to stone. But then she decided I'd be a waste of good magic, so she banished me from the town instead. Oh, so what you see before you is a useless old winky. Why did the Wicked Witch make you people slaves, Mr. Mayor? She needed laborers to build her enormous fortress of evil. It's so big. No one knows when it'll be finished, if ever. That must be the horrible-looking place we saw outside. Mm -hmm. Gold and cap upon my head, bring me those that we all dread. Summon them from the secret place, bring them to me. So, what do you want? Ah, you're always so prompt. <laughs> this time, yeah, but this is the third and very last job that we do for you, so make the most of our services, beautiful. You watch your tongue, understand? Relax. What do you want this time? There are four intruders.
world as east of here I want destroyed. So hop to it, but do it slowly. Sounds easy enough. All right, let's go get them, fellas. Wait! On second thought, bring the lion to me. Go on. Sure thing. <laughs> My very own lion, I can put him to excellent use. <laughs> Having learned what they could about the witch from the former mayor of the Winkies, Dorothy and the others head for her castle. We'll make it. Well, of course we will. One for all. And all for one. Oh, the good witch of the North's kiss is glowing. Or was. It was glowing again? I wonder what it means. I bet it's a warning that trouble is close at hand. I can feel it in my straw. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, guys, do us the man. <laughs> what are you waiting for, you fool? Destroy her! <laughs> All right, then. We'll take her with us along with the lion. Jack! Tin Man and Scarecrow are out of commission. Dorothy's been taken prisoner. And who knows what the Wicked Witch plans to do with poor Lion. <laughs> You're going to pull my coat, you overgrown pussycat. Oh, yeah, what if I don't want to? You'll want to, don't worry. Oh, I'd be the envy of Wicked Witches everywhere, my own personal Lion. I won't do it, I won't. Oh, you'll do it, all right. You'll do it, or I'll... What's that? Hello? What's this? I didn't want the girl. I told you to destroy her. No way. Couldn't be done. What? Look, check the mark on her forehead. The kiss mark of the good witch of the north. Impossible. She's charmed. Look and see for yourself. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that cursed witch of the north. All right, now, we took care of the Tin Man and the Scarecrow for you. They're history. And you got your lion here. The girl? Well, I'm afraid she's your problem. We did our best. So now I believe your power over us has ended, right? You won't see us again. Come on, boys. Why, you little troublemaker, if you think that kiss mark will protect you from me, you are very much mistaken. I can do whatever I want to you anytime I want to do it. Understand? <gasps> but, um, for the time being, you can be my personal slave. They're not to keep you busy. Dishes, cooking, cleaning. Know how many windows this place has? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What do you think you're doing? Never leave the lid off this water jar. But it's empty. What difference does that make? The lid always stays on. <gasps> Or I'll turn you into stone! Toto, come here! Let's see. Are you worth keeping as my kitten slave? What? You little idiot! You're cooking with water from now on, you splash! You know, I don't think you realize how lucky you are. You're working for the greatest witch ever. The witch who very soon will rule all of Oz! Even you could never conquer Oz. <laughs> I can do anything. Look what I did to your friends. They couldn't stop me, could they, little one? Your tin man's a man no more, but a pile of crap metal. <gasps> and the scarecrow is nothing but empty rags. He'll never scare crows again. You were a fool to challenge my power. <laughs> but now, you have something of mine, and I want it back. Something of yours? Why, that's not true. I don't have anything of yours. Oh, but you have, my dear. Down there. Down there? You mean Toto? Uncle Henry gave him to me. He's mine. I didn't mean your muff, you fool. I meant those shoes you're wearing. Huh? They used to belong to the Wicked Witch of the East. Did they not, Missy? Yes. Well, she was my sister, so now they belong to me. End of over. No. The Good Witch of the North gave them to 
to me. Now they're mine. Besides, they fit perfectly. They'd be much too small for you. Mine! 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 I'll give you a nicer one. No, thanks. I was told never to part with them. They'd protect me. You won't give them to me, then! No, why should I? They're mine. I won't give them to you. Never, ever. Then I'll never have to take them! Come here! <laughs> Shut up, you mean, dear mongrel! <laughs> give me those things I want! You little fool! Even Dorothy doesn't know how powerful her magic shoes are, but the Wicked Witch does, and she wants them. Down below, Lion is making the best of it, but he can't take being locked up in the witch's cage much longer. I smell food. I've got to get out. strength now I'm weak as a kitten oh don't mind us we're just standing guard we'll have a nice day once I have them my power will be tripled but I can't take them off myself I'll have to trick her into doing it for me mm, maybe yes that's it of course that's what I'll do I get her to trip over a stick and the shoes will fly off I'll get the door for you. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, oh my. I hope that water will last a while, but I still can't imagine why the well should be so far away. Okay. Why won't you tell me where we're going? Is this a trick? How could you even think such a thing? Uh -oh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, I'm starving. Oh. <laughs> Here's where the smell was coming from. Mm. There. Would you like to go down these stairs? Why should I go down? Just do as I ask you to do. Now! Uh, Just do as you're told! No. I'm getting angry, so shake a leg! No, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, that's good. Say, where's Dorothy, anyway? The witch just took her down there to show her something. Oh, the witch, huh? That's not good enough. Let me out. Not till you've been downstairs. I guess I have no choice. Huh? Ah! <laughs> See, as a good girl, do what witchy wants and everything will turn out fine. <laughs> now go on. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Huh? Now what? I still don't see how come I have to go down without knowing why. You know what? You're a 
trouble is, you don't trust me. Look, it's quite safe. See? That's a funny way of walking. Is there something there? No, 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 nothing at all. I have a nervous cough, that's all. Scares do that to me. Don't ask me why. Go on. Boom. Go on, dear. Left foot, right foot, huh? Come on, there's nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about it later, Dorothy. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. Oh. You'll never get away from me. It's not long before the wicked witch catches Dorothy and Lion by surprise in the kitchen. <gasps> Do I have to tell you never? I see. Well, in that case, I have no further use for you. Listen closely to this crow. Turn this lion into stone. <gasps> oh, what a dramatic pose. In fact, I think I'll put him at the front gate. There should be two, but he'll do for now. Oh, lion, lion. Huh? Maybe I should do the same for you. <gasps> I've been kissed by the Good Witch of the North. You can't hurt me. No? I told you that kiss is no match for my witchcraft. I am the most powerful witch of all. Oh, you've turned me into stone, too. I may, but give me those shoes and I'll forget what a brat you've been. I'll even keep you on as my slave. You'll be the envy of all the Winkies. I won't give you my shoes ever. Oh, yes, you will, my dear. And you'll hand them over now, or else... Toto! Oh, want your doggy, my dear? Victory. 
the Wicked Witch is no more, and the four friends are soon reunited. And when she melted, they broke the spell the Winkies were under, and they were free again. And the first thing they did was find me and Tin Man. Yes, then they fixed you both up just as good as new. Hmm, so the Fortress of Evil melted with her, huh? Yes, thank goodness. Now the Winky Town looks as peaceful as ever. Huh? Toto, what's that? Toto! Oh. Whew! Good for you, Lion Toto. You should be more careful. Dorothy, that's the golden cap. One of the Winkies told me it's magic. It's what the witch used to call those awful monkeys. <laughs> well, don't want to waste a magic cap. <laughs> right. Could come in handy. Uh -huh. But now I want my heart. It's time to go. Right. Time to go see the wizard to collect on some promises. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to get what we want in the Emerald City. With the Wicked Witch out of the way, the return trip to the Emerald City passes quickly, and they're ready to collect on the wizard's promises. Oh. Oh. This time, we all go in together. Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh -huh. He's not here. I think maybe he's hiding so he can jump out and surprise us? I'm not hiding, I'm wondering. <gasps> wondering how you destroyed the witch. It wasn't easy, Wizard, but to make a long story short, I poured water on her and she melted. Water? Water, of course. Anyway, now I want to go back home. You promised. Promised? Oh, oh, well, yes, I did promise, didn't I? Uh, well, come back tomorrow. No, the, the day after. I need time to think. Time to think, wizard? Hmm? Oh. But, great wizard, you know all, remember? What's there to think about? Just, just send me home. You can do it, can't you? And let's not forget, I've still got a brain coming. Oz forgets nothing. Come tomorrow. And when do I get my heart? We'll make an appointment in our scene. No, I want it now, wizard. And I want to have my courage now, too. I can't give any of you what you want right now. But why can't you give it to us right now, wizard? Yes, you are a wizard. Just use your magic. Cast a spell. Until you help us. We're not going anywhere. Understand? Yeah. Silence, I... Oh. Huh? Get away! I, the great... Hey, beat it! Go on! I, the... Oh, you rip it! I... <gasps> now see what you've done! Hey, hey! No, not out here! No! Oh. What have you got there, Toto? Oh. <coughs> oh, what a disaster. Who... who are you, anyway? <laughs> Why, I'm the, uh, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Who else? If anyone out there hears you, I'll be in terrible trouble. They wouldn't be happy at all. You see, all this time, they've believed I really am a wizard with all kinds of magical powers. Well, so did we. We only did what we did because we believed in you. Well, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. I truly am. Does this mean I won't be getting a heart? I won't get courage. Oh. And I won't get my brain? Don't worry, I'll come up with something. But right now, I'm the one with the problem. Well, whose fault is that? I know, I know, I brought it all on myself. But even so, you wouldn't really want the people of Oz to find out I'm a fake, would you? Who knows what they might do? Oh, how did I ever get into this mess? Well, it is a mess, all right. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. At first, I just thought it'd be fun to pretend to be a wizard. It wasn't until I realized I'd have to pretend to have great powers, too, that I saw I'd back myself into a corner. But you must have some powers. When we saw you, you were a gigantic head. Oh, the gigantic head. You want to see it? There's nothing to it, really. And to think my knees were knocking over some painted cloth stretched over a frame. Now, there's the ropes I used to hang it from the ceiling. Then I stood behind it and used levers to move the mouth. It's just an old circus trick, nothing fancy, but it's quite effective if you do it right, don't you think? 
All in all, I'm rather proud of my little illusions. <laughs> proud? Why, you should be ashamed. You used them to trick people. People like us who trusted you and believed in you. Oh, I am ashamed, Dorothy. Honest, I am. But it wasn't my idea. Well, it was, I suppose, but I didn't mean to. Anyway, let me begin at the beginning. Want to know where I'm from, Dorothy? A town called Omaha, Nebraska. The Omaha, Nebraska? The one that's close to Kansas? Yep, that's the one. Trouble is, it's not very close to here, though. How far are we from Kansas? Can you tell me? I'm afraid I can't. I sure wish I knew, but I haven't got the faintest idea. Then how on earth did you get here? <sighs> a long time ago, I used to work in a circus. In a circus? Yes, I had a hot air balloon, and it was my job to drop leaflets advertising the circus over the town. It was a good publicity stunt, and it brought in a lot of customers. But one day, the anchor rope broke. I shot straight up into the sky. There was nothing I could do but hang on and hope. I drifted for so long, sometimes I thought I'd left the Earth behind completely. Then I arrived in Oz, and the people thought I was a wizard because I could fly. Well, I still want my brain. Oh, a brain isn't everything. The world's full of fools who have a brain. No, there's something far more important than that. It's called experience. You gain knowledge through experience, right? Uh-huh. Well, with all the experience you've had, you've gained enough knowledge for a lifetime. But the only experience I want is to experience having a brain. Hmm. Well, I may not be a real wizard, but maybe I can help. Come see me tomorrow. What about me? Can you give me my courage? Courage? You don't need courage, Lion. No? No, what you need is confidence. Courage means facing danger, even when you're scared. And I believe you've done that, haven't you? Now, I'd say you have plenty of courage, my friend. He's right. Do you remember fighting those colliders back in the forest? Well... That took courage. Really? Well, then, I guess what I need is more courage. Oh, all right, then. Come back tomorrow. Now I'll fix you up, too. Oh, do you really mean it? Oh, I can hardly wait. More courage. Uh, you wouldn't have a heart. You're doing perfectly well without one, Tin Man. But if you really want one, then you come back tomorrow, too. Oh, I will. Thanks a lot. Will you find a way to get me home, too? Oh, I was afraid she'd ask me that. That night, the wizard racks his brain to come up with a solution to Dorothy's problem. Well, the others are no problem, no problem at all. Ah, but little Dorothy. Good, Good morning. morning! We're, We're here, here to see you, great, great wizard! wizard. The wizard receives his visitors one at a time. Mm, too light. All out of fuel, please. Then he'll be sharp as a tack. <laughs> yeah, oh. There we go. <laughs> Remove your hat, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, not hurting you, am I? Oh, no, not at all. I can't feel a thing. Oh, good, good. One and one is two. Yellow and blue make green. Never stand up in a canoe. Yahoo! What goes up must come down. Vinegar cleans piano keys. Well, congratulations, keys. Scarecrow. You finally have a brain. Uh, everyone. Not bad, not bad at all. I just hope Tin Man is as easy to fool or convince as Scarecrow was, that's all. There, this may leave a seam on your chest. I hope you don't mind. Oh, not at all. And I didn't feel a thing while you were snipping. Oh! <laughs> there, that ought to do it. Satisfaction guaranteed. <gasps> Well, let's put her in. <sighs> oh. Mm -hmm. 
Mmh. Et voilà, eau de courage. <laughs> you mean that courage? As much courage as you're willing to think it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah! oh. oh, I couldn't be more delighted each of your dreams has come true. That's right. Oh, gosh, I hope your dream will come true too, Dorothy. Oh, so do I, but I don't want to get my hopes up, Lion. He didn't think he could help me. Well, maybe one of us has thought of something. Mm -mm. Tin Man? No ideas at all. Scarecrow? You mean even with your new brain, you couldn't come up with a way to get me back home to my Aunt Em and Uncle Henry? Mm -mm. Oh, please, won't you try again? It's so important. <coughs> Scarecrow, what are you doing? Huh? I've done it, Dorothy! I've done it! I've thought of something! Really? Yes, I've thought of a way to get you back... <clears throat> back to Kansas that I'm pretty sure will work. <laughs> I knew you could. That's the only hole and it's easily patched. It'll fly then? Mm -hmm. Once it's filled, we'll be floating on air like those clouds. Excuse me, but... Did you say we? Oh, uh, you don't expect me to let you fly a balloon all alone, do you? It requires great skill and experience. Then you're... you're going to leave Oz with me? Oh, I've been here long enough. It's time I went home, too. I'm tired of pretending to be a wizard. And anyway, I need an adventure. All of a sudden, I feel very sad. Almost all of you terrible. We'll miss you too, Dorothy, but we know you have to go. I'll come visit if I can. Oh, that'd be wonderful. We'll never forget you, Dorothy, never. Our dreams came true because of you. Oh, Lion, I'm so proud of you. You'll be the best king of the forest ever. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Tim, and don't. You don't want to rest now, do you? Well, Dorothy, the wizard's ready. Dorothy, hurry! Coming! Uh. Oh, Toto, no! Come back, Toto! Dorothy! Oh, no, it's taking off, Dorothy! The balloon's rising! I can't stop it! sorry you didn't make it home again, but look at the bright side. You could stay here in Oz and live in comfort among people who adore you and friends who love you. Aww. It's no use. She won't be happy till she's home. Think your new brain could come up with another way to get her there? I don't know, but maybe if we all think hard. Hmm. Hmm, if only I knew more about these shoes, what powers they have. Maybe they could help. Oh, it's hopeless. Nothing can get me back home. <gasps> Wait a second. I've still got the golden cap. <gasps> yes, you can call the winged monkeys and get them to fly you home to Kansas. Good thing the spell's written inside it. Let's see. Golden cap face to face. Good. Golden cap upon my head. Bring me those that we all dread. Summon the 
them from the secret place and bring them to me. Face to face. wondering when you'd use that hat. I want you Take to... you home to Kansas. I know, I know, but I can't do it. We're only licensed to operate in Oz, but I'll give you a break. I'll take you to see Glinda, the Good Witch of the South. If anybody can help you, she can. Oh, all right. Can you take us all? The winged monkeys delivered Dorothy and the others to Glinda's palace that very same day. That's quite a story. Oh, we've had lots of adventures, but it's time I got back home. <laughs> I understand your feelings, Dorothy, but won't you find it difficult to leave your friends? Oh. <sighs> yes, very difficult. We've been through a lot together, and I love them very much. But I miss my Aunt Em and Uncle Henry. They're the only family that I have, and they must be worried sick about me. Oh, I have to get back. I just have to. I'm homesick. If you had decided to stay, I would have made you a princess. A princess? But I can see in your eyes that returning to Kansas is all that can make you happy. So back you will go. <gasps> what? Oh, oh really? really? You mean you mean you mean help her? Scarecrow, what will you do when Dorothy's gone? I think I'll return to the Emerald City. I love the people, and city life keeps my new brain thinking all the time. I see. You don't think the new ruler will mind having a scarecrow for a subject, do you? No, because the new ruler will be you. Huh? As guardian of Oz, I'm making you its king to put that brain to good use. Ooh, you want me to be a king? Are you sure I can handle it? You will rule wisely. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Tin Man. <laughs> hmm? You have your heart and you're free to roam. What will you do now that Dorothy's going home? Well, I thought I'd go back to being a woodchopper. I'm pretty good at it. I and... have a better idea. The Winkies need a leader to help them rebuild their land after the terrible destruction brought upon them by the Wicked Witch of the West. They need someone strong and honest, and most of all, someone with a kind heart. And that someone is you, Tin Man. Huh? That's it. Polish him up, Scarecrow. He's got to <laughs> look his best. <laughs> Well, polished or not, I will be honored to have you as ruler of our neighbor kingdom. And you, Lion, your courage has earned you the title you were born to bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as of now, you are king of the Forest of Oz. Well, if my pals have agreed to be kings, I guess I better agree, too. I'll try to rule bravely and fairly, Glinda. Admirable. All the animals of the forest will rejoice at this good news. And now it is time for all of you to go your ways. Dorothy, since the golden cap is no longer of use to you, I will use it to return your friends to their new kingdoms as soon as you're gone. But returning you to Kansas will be even simpler, my dear, for you have had the power to return home ever since the very first day you arrived in Oz. <gasps> you mean my magic shoe? So all this time... You simply had to click your heels together three times and tell the shoes to take you home, and you would have returned to Kansas at once. Oh! Oh, but that would have been awful. I'd never have met my friends. Oh, goodbye, Lion. I'll miss you a lot. <laughs>
magic shoes take me back home? But Scarecrow was right. Dorothy and all her friends in Oz will meet again. Here we are together, searching for a dream. All the time it's rain beside us, closer than it seems. If the sky gets cloudy, the blue all turns to green. Searching for us. 